Okay, so I drew the figure here for this question. Uh, we have two pinholes separated center to center by 10. That's the A, the separation between the slits um, or the slit width is oriented by parallel rays. We have the wavelength. The fringes on an observing screen are said to be 10 millimeters apart. So if one of them is at Y1 and the other one is at Y2, delta Y here is what's given to be 10 millimeters apart. So delta Y between two consecutive fringes uh, is 10 millimeters. Uh, between uh, two bright fringes, two uh, consecutive fringes. Okay, how far should the screen be? So that's, so in other words, they're asking what's S. Now I drew the rays here, R1 and R2, corresponding to each one of the slits. And uh, the angle that they make, like let's say if this here is the x-axis, is theta standard. I drew this figure many times on the previous questions. And then uh, I uh, projected a perpendicular from S1 down on uh, the R2 line and I made this red triangle here and we know if this angle here in gold is theta then th the small triangle the small angle for that red triangle is also theta now we know that the difference between uh, the path difference between R1 and R2 R2 is greater than R1 is by R2 minus R1 which from the figure from the red triangle can be seen to be uh, it's the opposite so it's uh, the hypotenuse A sine theta and at the same time we know uh, that it has to be an integer multiple of the wavelength also from this triangle here I could see that uh, sine theta is equal to the uh, y2 over s y2 over s and so if I replace if I plug this in here I will get r2 minus r1 to equal a y2 over s and we at the same time we know that r2 minus r1 is m lambda which makes these two the same so m lambda is to equal a y2 over s if we call this y m at the mth fringe then we get y m to be uh, m lambda s over a and i can make the same exact analysis for the m plus one fringe which would get me m plus one lambda uh, s over a and now I could find the change or the fr uh, the separation between the fringes by subtracting m1 the mth plus one fringe minus ym and you could see if I subtract these two the first one goes away and I'm left with so delta y will equal to uh, lambda s over a Uh, that does it so I have everything and now I'm trying to solve for s so then uh, s will just equal a delta y over lambda a we have 10 millimeters uh, multiply this by 10 to the minus 3 uh, delta y is oh this is delta y a is 0 0.1 millimeters so 0 0.1 times 10 to the minus 3 for a and lambda is 487.99 change from nanometers to meters we multiply by 10 to the minus 9 so plugging this on the calculator we get the distance from the screen to be let's see uh, 
2.04 meters. That does it for this question.